what it means to him, or is he as laid back in that than he is with us? Well, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say laid back as Mike T. <laughs> um, I think he's a he's a fierce competitor, you know, and I think there's a great sense of urgency with everything that Mike does, you know. So we see that on the practice field every day, you know. See it in the locker room. Um, he's also a fun loving guy, you know. I mean, he loves his teammates. He loves loves the locker room, you know. Um, I mean, he'll be the first one to tell you, you know. He, he said it after the game. He said, "I love I love this team. I love." Playing for this team, I love battling for this team, and um, I think he just has, you know, he just has an engine, you know, and he's got a fire that I think is pretty rare, you know. Um, I think we all pride ourselves on being competitors and, you know, preparing the best we can to go out and perform on Sundays. But um, he's pretty rare; he, he's very rare. Um, the way that he goes about his business each and every week. Um, you know, everything you see on Sunday is what we see literally every rep, every rep in practice. I mean, there is, there is not a single rep that's a, you know, I'm just going to take it easy this time kind of a thing. Um, he's full go all the time, um, preparing himself for that championship rep. Because I think in his mind, you know, that's how he's getting ready to play on Sunday. And that's how he's getting ready for bigger and bigger games down the road. He's always putting himself in that. <laughs> In that position. Drew, that first touchdown to Jarrett, how much did you guys kind of need that to kind of jump start? Yeah, I thought, that, I thought that was really important. Um, you know, obviously they jumped out, you know, with two consecutive touchdown drives. Um, and, you know, we kept shooting ourselves in the foot um, offensively with our first maybe, what, four or five possessions. It felt like it was penalties, it was um, just miscues and, and, and not very good execution. And so, yeah, that was big because I think that, that obviously gave us a lot of momentum going in at half, and then um, we came out with, with the, the, the ball, the first possession in the second half, and took the lead right there and, and then never looked back. Drew, what did you see there? You like checked into that play. Yeah, we checked into it. Um, felt like we had an opportunity to throw a seam ball to Jared, and uh, he made a great, great catch, great run, great block by AK um, outside on the corner that you know, kind of sprung him down the sideline. So I think Sean said you checked into the Camara touchdown run as well? Yes. So, you were seeing we're, che we're checking passes, we're checking runs, <laughs> scoring touchdowns. That's good stuff. Drew, you, you mentioned how Mike was saying he loves his team. When did he say that? In the interview or did he address the locker room? Yeah, team? he just, oh, you know, he obviously got a game ball. Um, yeah, turns out you get, you get game balls when you catch 144 <laughs> passes in a season. 140, um, yeah, that's right. Uh, what was the record? The, the previous record was 143. Okay. Um, yeah. So he got a game ball and he got a chance to tell tell the team, you know, just how much he loved being a part of it. Which it's always always great to hear guys say that. Did you know that's a record? I didn't. I didn't. I mean, listen. I knew I I knew I'd throw them a lot of balls to him, <laughs> and I knew we needed 11. So I had a feeling he was close to it or eclipsing it on one of those. Can you put into perspective just how hard that is to do to catch that many balls in the season when defenses are focusing? Yeah. I mean, listen, break it down. It's almost 10 catches a game, right? You know, through 15 games here, almost 10 catches a game. It's, it's remarkable, you know, um, especially with as much as, you know, teams target him and um, have a plan for him. But, again, testament to his ability to get open, right, and his, uh, his desire and his work ethic. Oh yeah, the 40 -yarder. absolutely, absolutely. That run and then tough goal line run. Um, yeah, he was he was great all day. He's had, he's had a lot of yards this year, but when he hasn't had a touchdown since week three, do you feel like that weighs something? You know, I mean, I, I I'm sure. Listen, in a, in a in a way, it weighs on all of us. You know, it's like because um, he's such a big part of this offense and and what we do and. He's highly productive, you know, and typically with that comes, right, touchdowns, right? That's a product of the, the, the productivity, right? But um, for one reason or another, you know, he, he just hadn't, hadn't gotten in the end zone um, for a while. But um, I hope we, we broke that seal. And uh, obviously he got in twice today, and hopefully there's a lot more where that came from. That, block by him, that, block by him. that was a great block, yeah. 
like a, I mean, I guess if you want to say he was in a funk just from not having touchdowns, to find different ways yeah. to, to help your team, like, is that something that Well, see, that's the thing, you know, I, he's a team player, you know, and so, I mean, I, he, for a guy like me, you know, hey, quarterbacks, you're used to throwing touchdown passes, but, you know, if, 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 if I get to hand it off, you know, five or six times a game and, and watch our running backs go in the end zone, I'll be the happiest guy out there, too. I don't care if I, I throw it or not, you know. And so it's, man, what's, what's my job to put everybody in the best position to succeed, right? And then, and then Alvin, Alvin doing whatever he can to put the offense in the best position to succeed, you know, getting some of those hard yards, and maybe it doesn't result in him getting the touchdown, but, you know, Mike Thomas got it or, you know, uh, Latavius Murray got it or Jared got it, and it was because of his block that Jared got it, right? And so, man, that's good football. What did you see on the second touchdown to Cook? Was a touchdown? Yeah, yeah. Um, I trust him. Trust him. So tried to throw it where he could get it, and the other guy couldn't. Last question, guys. Mike Thomas's intensity in practice. And you mentioned it a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah. Practice, practice. No, listen. He um. There's, there's. You'll definitely get a helmet slam. You know, once every week or two, right? Um, whether it's you know, he didn't run a route just like he wanted to, or maybe you know the ball wasn't where it was supposed to be, or he, you know, rarely does, does he get a hand on it and not bring it in, but. Um, Again, he's just, I mean, he's got high expectations, right, for himself and for everyone around him, and it makes us all better. Can I get one more real quick? Real quick. Yeah, yeah. CJ Gardner does have a big, big play. Yeah, huge. Is he as confident? Oh, yeah, yeah. You go against him? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's got a ton of swagger, a ton of swagger. Um, I, I love that about him. You know, I think that that's, that's what makes him um, a great player, and you love having him on your team for that reason. I think he, not, not only it, does that, lead to plays like that, you know, but um, but I think it just, it, it gets everybody kind of hyped around him too. You know, it's one of those guys that um, has a has a way of, you know, just um, getting guys excited. All right, thanks.